Hi there guys, hope you're doing well. This is your friend and tutor Manas. So let's see what this problem has in store. Here we go. A smooth cylinder of radius r is equal to 10 cm resting on a horizontal surface. Suppose a bar AB of length 30 cm which is hinged at A. The weight of the bar is 50 newtons. The cylinder is kept from rolling away by a string AO of length 20 cm. Assuming all the surfaces to be frictionless, find the tension in the string. Alright, initially let us try to understand this arrangement. There is this cylinder okay, which is kept on this uh, horizontal surface and the point of contact is obviously E. Now onto the cylinder you can clearly see that there is a bar AB resting okay, and the point of contact is point D. Now this bar has a self weight and due to this self weight the cylinder may have a tendency to roll down in the left hand side direction but it is prevented from doing so with the help of this string OA whose length is equal to 20 centimeters okay and it is in that process that this string is going to develop some sort of tension T all right now let us try to work out all the forces which are acting in this arrangement and for clarity the red color forces are the ones which are acting on the cylinder whereas the forces shown in purple color are the ones which are acting on the bar AB okay so let us try to work out all the forces which are acting on the cylinder here they are that's it point of contact at E it's going to be RE reaction normal reaction point of contact D normal reaction RD and since this is a string connected to the cylinder it's, it's going to be under some sort of tension T all right now apart from that the forces which are acting on the bar are as follows here they are so it's so the bar is offering a force of RD in this direction okay and hence the cylinder will retaliate Okay, so there is, if this is an action, there is going to be a reaction. Cylinder will retaliate by applying an equal amount of force in the opposite direction, again in the form of RD. And since this is a hinge support, there are going to be two forces acting, HA and VM. Okay, that's all about the forces. Now, let us try to analyze, analyze the bar. Okay, and when you do so, um, this bar is experiencing a whole lot of forces in the form of RD okay in this direction it's it's for it's experiencing HA VA and also its own weight 50 newtons obviously in the downward direction so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking moment about this point A equal to zero so taking moment of all the forces acting on the bar about point A is equal to zero now these two forces HA and VA are passing through this point A and point A is that point about which the moment is to be taken and hence these forces are going to have zero moments that is they they're not going to have any role to play as far as this moment equation is concerned so the forces left are RD and 50 Newton force so if you watch carefully if you keep your right hand thumb over here and try to move your baby finger along this direction you'll realize that this force 50 produces an anti-clockwise moment and we're gonna have to do this um, positive or anti-clockwise moment multiplied by distance perpendicular distance so let me try to extend the line of action so this is the line of action for force 50 and if you were to drop a perpendicular it would be this one okay let us say that the name is s okay so this is perpendicular distance a s so 50 cross a s all right apart from that so we have this force rd if you keep your right hand thumb over here and move your baby finger along this direction it produces a clockwise moment and hence a negative sign okay so let us do this and the name of the force is R T multiplied by so this is going to be the perpendicular distance this is the perpendicular distance that is A D right so R D into A D equal to 0 so ultimately you can get the value of R D is equal to 50 into A S over A D so right now our objective is to get the value of a s in a d how can that be calculated so for that what i'm going to be doing is let us try to consider this triangle o e a and in that triangle let us say this angle over here is theta if this is theta then we can write this sine theta is equal to o e over o a this is o e perpendicular upon hypotenuse that is o a and when you put the values of o e is equal to 10 and o a is equal to 20 you're going to get this and solving this equation you can get the value of theta is equal to 30 degrees that's pretty obvious so now we know very well this angle over here is 30 degrees if you try to consider this angle also this angle can also be calculated so if this is theta this is perpendicular okay 10 divided by hypotenuse again 20 so this angle shall also work out as 30 degrees all right now what so let us move ahead now if you look carefully ad 
actually is a part of this triangle OAD okay in which this OA is the hypotenuse 20 centimeters so if this is 20 centimeters this angle is 30 then this distance AD has got to be 20 cos 30 so let me write this AD is equal to 20 cos 30 that's it what else so we've got the value of AD now we need the value of AS if you watch this triangle C S A this distance C A is going to be equal to how much 15 why the entire length is how much 30 so half of that length is going to be 15 because weight always acts centrally that's why okay exactly at the center of its length now, if this is 15 this angle this entire angle is 60 degrees then this distance has got to be 15 cos 60 and if you were to calculate this distance it would have worked out as 15 sin 60 so right now i'm happy with this a s is equal to 15 a s is equal to 15 cos 60 now when you put these values these values over here you're going to finally get the value of rd is equal to 21.65 newtons all right so how can we proceed we need the tension in the string okay tension in the string is supposed to be calculated so what we're going to be doing is uh, we're going to be resolving this tension into components okay if this is 30 this has also got to be 30 and if this is 30 then this component over here of tension t is going to be what do you call t cos 30 it's going to have a vertical component also in the downward direction and this is uh, going to be t sine 30 all right what's next so if we have got this force rd it's going to have again two components okay let me tell you what they are now this is rd if i can draw a vertical line something of this sort okay this angle over here is going to be equal to 60 degrees since this is 60 this angle will be 60 this angle over here is going to be again what you call 60 degrees so rd in fact is going to be having two components one over here okay something of this sort let me try to make this this is going to be rd cos 60 one component will be along this direction r d sin 60 so basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using this equation of equilibrium summation of all the forces in x direction is equal to zero so rd sin 60 left hand side negative so negative of rd sin 60 okay what else is there so we've got this t and this is t cos 30 in the right hand side direction and hence taken as positive so plus t cos 30 is equal to zero okay so if you try to work out this is going to be rd sin 60 is equal to t cos 30 and t shall be equal to rd sin 60 over cos 30 and you know very well sin 60 is equal to how much root 3 by 2 and cos 30 also is equal to root 3 by 2 so they're going to cancel out so t is equal to rd or you can also say the value of tension is going to work out as 21.65 newtons that's it so guys that was all from my side for today if you like the content and presentation in this video do give it a big thumbs up and if you believe that this video tutorial has added value to your knowledge of mechanics then do recommend this channel to your friends and classmates so that all of them can benefit i'll see you again with a new problem until then it's a wrap this is manas patnaik signing off take care have a great day and keep learning